Hey guys, Kim Brzezelic here. I have a little uh, little project, actually a paying job. Where did I put that at? It's uh, not a real complicated thing. There's no high tolerances or close tolerances. It's a little coupler for uh, kind of a clock, a clock deal. Okay, so basically it's just this quarter inch aluminum tubing, a couple holes, cotter pins go through those holes and connect two shafts. So I put that on the lathe, I ran a reamer through it, well I drilled the holes. Ran a reamer through it. Um, parted it off. And there's one piece. I think he was paying uh, around eight dollars for one of these and two cotter pins. So I bought a uh, I bought a stick of. Uh, I bought a six foot stick of, a, of aluminum tubing. And, oh, there's my aluminum cutting fluid. So, um, I mean, no problem, you can make this. You know, it can take a long time or it can take a, sh a short amount of time. Yeah. I uh, prefer to have everything um, deburred and you know something easy to hold on to, no sharp edges. So the dilemma is, is um, I believe, is marking and countersinking. Uh, well, not countersinking, marking the location of the holes. Um, using a punch to uh, get the drill started. So I'm thinking I need some kind of jig that can hold the tube. I can lay the tube over the jig, tap it with a hammer, and have my have my uh, my starting um, divots for my drill to start into. So, what I came up with is just a, a three-quarter inch wide aluminum, you know, flat bar about a half inch thick. And when I mill a groove down the middle, drill two 10 32nd holes in it and screw two transfer punches up from the bottom and then have a have a pen here to to mark the uh the length so i'll have a pen here and lay the tube across this slot stop at the pen tap it with a hammer i got my holes so how do I do that? So this is what I came up with. I got my uh, my milling platform. This uh, will connect up to my cross slide. And I got a V block in here. And I got my material super glued to the V block. So I imagine I'll take an end mill, run it across here, and create that 45 degree angle V. Put my set screws in from behind, drill a hole with a pin to uh, to have a stop for the part. So lay it in this groove, bring it up to the pin. Give it a tap, and there's my location. Another idea 
was to have this go indefinitely and just tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, and um, just go down the whole length and uh, and drill the, you know, maybe start with a 12 inch piece of tubing and just come down and, um, and uh, center punch those holes all the way down the tubing and come back in the lathe and part them off to appropriate locations, lengths. Okay. So, that's what I've been doing this morning. Uh, whether or not the super glue holds, I don't know. I, you know, should I use a four flute? Uh, end mill? Should I use a two fluid end mill? Should I use um, a diameter that matches my depth? You know, I just want to make one pass and, uh, and have it done. Obviously, I guess. So, I guess I'll figure all that out. So, We'll bring you back and we'll be set up for uh, milling on the Harbor Freight Chinese mini lane. Thanks, guys. Okay, here are some um, other fixtures that I have. Of course, I got the clamps for this. I don't think this one would really apply. But just in case uh, any of you can, uh, this one's got a nice 45 cut into it. Um, if anybody you know, sees a better way with what I have here, I'd appreciate a shout out in the comments.